Hi everyone, I'm Jim from LubeCore, owner of uh, the world's greatest auto lube system uh, here in Minnesota. Today I'm going to show you a real quick clip on how to fix and repair a Corilla tubing line. So this is the type of tubing that we would normally use in a yellow iron application. Things we like about it, it handles the same pressure as a hydraulic line. It does not have a wire, but essentially it's a wrapped uh, loomed uh, tubing with a polyamide insert. But this is real common if you've got one of our excavator systems, one of our loader systems, this is the type of tubing that we use. I wanna show you how quickly to do a quick field repair on a, say you break a line. So let's make an assumption that we cut a line. The first thing I'd like to encourage you to do is make sure that the ends are clean. If there's any ingress dirt or materials, make sure you cut that back. The other thing about cutters and crimpers, we just wanna make sure we get a nice, clean, crisp cut. So if you notice there, you know, we've got a nice uh, edge to work with. To use um, our splice kit, this is really nice compared to a lot of other systems that I've seen. This is the splice itself. You'll notice it's got some small barbs on it. And what we're also using is our Oedeker crimp. So these are 8.7 millimeter Oedeker crimps. Uh, very similar, if you're familiar with plumbing, uh, PEX crimp. But essentially how they work is you just insert them by hand and oftentimes I would encourage you to make sure you slide your Oedeker on first. Some situations this needs to go on first. You push it in and essentially what we're doing is we want the crimp to go in between the, the ferrule of the union and the barb fitting. And basically what I'm doing is I'm taking a standard PEX crimper and essentially crimping that down. Okay, the crimp when you're complete you should see the ears are touching themselves. Then we basically insert the other end. Push the crimp over. And then I'll compress that as well. Again, use my PEX crimper. And that is one complete splice.